match going on. Is this yeah. quarters? Is this so, I still yeah, yeah. wearing quarters? All right, so power rankings, uh, S2H versus XX. XX, yeah. as we were mentioning, just moved here from Northern California. He went, had, you know, he lived in the North he, region. Was he? Well, he started. Let's let's go back. Sure. He started in that, yeah, in that Philadelphia area, and then moved out to Southern California, and then moved out to NorCal to work for Esports Arena a little bit, mm -hmm. and now he's back here and he's trying to stake his claim as one of the better players. Did really well yesterday at MSM. Mm -hmm. not MSM. S2H also oh, one of those uh, like not yesterday, two days ago. Two days. Ago. I was gonna say like MSM was Monday. Yeah, dude. I, I, was I don't yesterday. know what day it is. I'm not a professional man. <laughs> Shout out to Lux, depending what day it is, but either way, he did pretty well. Is all is the main point of it. And of course, S2H is just such a such a a, a, a facet in the community. You know, Meta Knight, tried and true. Now part of the 100 top played most most top most paid Smash. Players. Is he really? Yeah, he's in the 100. He's in the top 100. How much how much money do you have to make to be in the top? I don't 100? I don't know. That's the thing. Uh huh. How does he know that? Um, how do I know that? Um, somebody, he, he he looked at the ranking and he uh -huh. saw himself there. Because you can see like who's the highest paid. Uh -huh. It's a specific website that does all the kind of calculations. Yeah, I think that website's probably, we gotta look at that methodology real quick. S2H though, though is one of those players that does have a tendency to shark tournaments and yeah. locals. So he's able to just go out there. He, he was in Texas for a few weeks. Uh -huh. so. That's all I'm saying. Like he's able to just go out there and go tournaments. Sharky in Texas. I don't know about that. That's that wasn't a shark, man. Good. That was hard. They had players like hockey yeah. out there, man. Austin. That, that that region is well defended, but he did enough that he could get like top three at least. So. And we're XX, already. Not gonna be a character. To, not even gonna be a player to yeah. shark. Number twenty versus rank three, and from NorCal PR, and rank number twenty from SoCal. And so he's still, so kind of holding on, and he's kind of struggling to get this kill though. Because one thing that he's really able to have is that speed. Yeah, it's one of those interesting uh, plays in the different archetypes. Wow, good connection. Got the back air. Usually they follow that up with a grab attempt, but he comes in, comes in straight with the roller. And already starting to pull so far away. S2H in a little bit of trouble. Okay, go for back air. Looking for that opportunity. I mean, he respects the forward smash. Forward smash has a little bit of range, so you have to be careful. How smash will take it. S2H kind of just dancing around him. At this point, he's having a, such a tough time thinking of the stock. And it's the fact that XX knows I have all the movement, all the back air, the disjoints, and the opportunities to do it. And finally, with a sigh of relief, takes one stock. Yeah, proven he's just a, he's just a man. He's not a god. Uh, he has he can take damage. And getting the wheels turning just a little bit. I was about to say, uh, one of the issues in this match is S2H has not really gotten big momentum going this way. Picked up a 35% string. That's one of the frustrating parts of Meta Knight. Yeah. You open up your opponent and do like a multi-hit combo and kind of like Sheik Syndrome going on. Yeah, you do all these hits and they do <laughs> no damage. Exactly. And your opponent just does like one singular hit and you're like, oh wait, 13%? Yeah. Hold the phone. That jab just did 14%. That's like the same as my four-hit combo kind of a situation. Right. Yeah, it's not, not enough reward for what you get. Especially with the commitments you got to do in the neutral to dive in. Oh, there's the uh, shuttle loop. Down oh. smash is going to take it, and exactly looking strong. Yeah. SOH not really used to dealing with Inkling. There's not a lot of, like, I wouldn't say, I don't want to discredit anybody, but there's not a lot of Inkling players that do uh -huh. make it out the locals. I haven't seen Arkister in a minute. Yeah. For a while, he's definitely one of those Inklings that does have wins on the map. There's finally X Axis come out here. So there's a few players that do mean Eagle, but in terms of his region, our region, the Eagle Name, there's not too many of them. So right. I know he's going with Meta Knight. I, he actually has a pocket ditty yeah. that I see him pull sometimes. I would have preferred him go that route so he can start working out the old Smash 4 Ledge Trap game so yeah. he can handle that. But right back to Final Destination, I wonder if s is going to try to play a little bit of the landing catching game. Yeah. Instead of, uh, you know, working around the platform, especially the Inkling being so mobile and so able to put on aerial pressure on, like, any other character. Platforms really probably help him out, more so than Meta Knight, at least, for sure. Yeah. For s I hope he starts to understand that Inkling looks to go for backer for approach and the occasional neutral air for crosses sometimes, and then go for the grab, or a mix-up between back air and grab. It's interesting the, the strategy change from there from Exact, especially with this, you know, FD stage without the platforms. He's going to the splatter bomb quite a bit more often yeah. in that neutral situation. Although now kind of playing a more close game, you know, playing tit for tat here with S2H and just doing what he can. There's the roller. Oh, oh my god. Oh no, that was a little too much. I, I respect it because like if he's gonna try to approach for back air, he could probably charge his forward smash. But the problem is like he's going for a lot of these empty hops where he can go for back air and then he can set up for roller. And he can just time out SOS Force Smash. 
Is a would, would forward smash in an ideal scenario beat roller? At all? Ideally, I feel like it would. This yeah. Is, this is like I said, this is a matchup I feel like we haven't really seen as much. Like, yeah, but we, we don't play three cross bros, right? Yeah. We try not to. Yeah. There was Burr who was over at Hat yesterday, and I S Switch was not. There was no Meta Knights at Hat. S Switch is kind of like the last of the dying breed in terms of like Meta Knight. Yeah. And I don't, I don't, I, I don't blame the wrestler all day. You know, I think kind of S Two H is such a talented player, but Meta Knight is such a. Oh, there's another roller. Able to match out of it though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got some, you know, some of those panic things. That's one of the always the funniest things to see as people mash out of the situations. <laughs> and then, and then like they hit that. the buttons and like they buffer all these weird options. And you're like, well, what's that about? I was like, oh, I mashed it. Oh, this is the mention of Kate. Him with that next act's a little bit off guard. Every time he takes a stock, I feel like he's just looking away. He's like, man, what are they I was trying to three stock him, man. Come on. Well, the dimensional capes coming out, it kind of usually oh, signals no. that S2H is feeling himself just a little bit. Yeah. Doesn't get the follow up on that. Yeah. That's, uh, that's kind of two that he's missed out on. Yeah. One thing that S2H is also really good at is just using dimensional like, capes to catch up on its hard. They're not really, I mean, no one's particularly really used to it. Right. Four days, though, we'll take S2H. Yeah, they're not used to that level of commitment. Speaking of commitment, he's out of oh. off stage, got the air dodge. Is he going to make it back? Yeah, he's in. I like that he went for Drill Rush because he acted the soft, the soft hit of the sour hit from Drill Rush could actually, like, um, stage spike. Stage spike. Right. And he goes with the jab out, you know, uh, surprised that we didn't see some sort of roller action coming out again. <laughs> that kind of seems to be like the whiff punish of choice or the, at least the over-aggressive read punish. Yeah. And it's, and it's worked wonders for X-Ax. And now we kind of see X-Wix slightly respect it a little bit, like it's going for more over and aerials. Chasing him with the mock tornado. <laughs> I, I, I felt like X-Ax, he totally got away, and then he was yeah. like, oh man, it actually got caught up. s yeah, so is not about to let that happen, and, you know, he's... He's within striking distance. He's got to get maybe a dash attack into a shuttle loop or something like that going on. Yeah. He's got to open up once. Oh, he had his chance, but kind of thought a little bit better of it. And that hesitation ended up letting x get a jab out. Mm -hmm. I like it there. He goes for down. He gets a full cross up. There is a side because he angled it right. Yes, he does. Usually, you can usually like twist it upwards so they can send your opponent at certain angles. But since he held it forward and straight, that's what it killed x But now s finally with that slot gone, 78%. Can he actually make the comeback here? Because yeah. this like is fresh. Off that lost stock. Yeah, unfortunately for him, Exax came out and rebutted oh, immediately. Wow, you, you're, down you're, 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 smash, you're, you're, not quite yeah. enough. You're rush again, like it goes for the low angle here to make sure he does not get caught by that down smash. Yeah, so much paint out and so much percentage. Things yeah. are red alert here for our masked hero. And trying to defend SoCal from the invader. But I don't know, it's going to be rough. Got to get some sort of Jake Meta Knight going on. <laughs> Solid pressure, but he backs off because he respects the fact that Holt, he's been hitting with us, actually. He did call that on right. right. And here yeah, we go. Has yeah. him off stage. Splatter bombs out. And Exax in firm control of the stage. x kind of has to play a little bit more of the ground game here because if he goes for a couple arrows, x might hit him with back or up air. Yeah, he's got to put on enough damage to get him back into the game. It's either a big combo here. And that might be like one of the detriments of having only, you know, no platforms to work with. It's a lot harder for him to open up his opponent and make those huge plays. And I'm and feeling like making huge plays. As is just one big huge play off there. If he gets him off the stage with a, with a possible dare combo, you could actually get him. I mentioned earlier, right, like playing playing the ground, but X is really able to get him with the back air. Maybe the air game is much better for S2H because he's able to jump over X X for back air. Uh, he was looking for a dash attack on that landing forward or didn't quite get it. Shield still. All right, going to go for down throw probably, yeah. Not enough to kill, and Exax is might be getting a little frustrated. He's like, "Man, I've hit you with so many moves, and you're not dead yet." Yeah, and S2H still holds on that shield. Great down smash, able to use it a good avail. Misses the upper. That would have been so crucial to start carrying. Wow, him. that forward smash almost was gonna hit. I got a little scared. I, I told you, it's so fast, low cooldown. It's got, a, it's not that unsafe on shield. Here we go. They're right back into it. S2H, he's turning it on just a little bit before. Yeah. He felt a little sleepy. He's like kind of resigned to his fate now. The down airs, the urgency's coming out. Oh man, I love it. does not get the sweet spot to kill. He stays a little bit low because he knows how that down smash has been working. S2H, down throw may or may not do it, but he goes for the back throw across the stage, and no DI can save you from that. So close on the comeback. He had him frustrated yeah. too. You could see it in S2H's like eyes, like I had him. Yeah, that was close, you know. It's unfortunate. Uh, 